It's time for the Coach's Corner Show with your host, Pat DiCibato. Hello, welcome to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I'm your host, Pat DiCibato from the Southtown Star newspaper. We're at the Beggar's Pizza location on 127th Street and Kedzie Avenue in Blue Island, folks, right across the street from Eisenhower High School. Remember, $25 gift card from Beggar's Pizza. They throw you a nice $5 gift card for free. Still some time, little stocking, stuffer, action, compliments at uh, Beggar's Pizza. All right, big show for you tonight, folks. We're going to have Richard's boys basketball coach John Chapetto as our guest, who I commonly refer to and affectionately as John Chadego. Paisan, Bulldogs off to a great, great start. They're 7-0. Um, entering this week, they played Brother Rice on Tuesday night, but we're taping here on Monday. So, uh, Johnny Chippetto will be our guest. We're talking Bulldogs hoops, seven and zero oh start. We are going to go to a Beggar's Pizza timeout. When we return, Coach Chippetto will be our guest. Stay tuned. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. I'm a pepperoni, sausage, green peppers and onions. Don't forget the extra cheese. Large pizza. Oh, by the way, I also make house calls. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. For over 60 years, Standard Bank has been a part of your neighborhood, supporting sports and other activities, working with communities as they grow and thrive, helping businesses and families to reach their financial goals. In communities all over Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana, your neighborhood is our neighborhood. We can help you reach your financial goals. To learn about products like Check Free, our super secure service that saves you time and money and makes it easy to pay your bills online, visit standardbanks.com. Member FDIC. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to Athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest Athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Quarter Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. Our guest this week, folks, Richard's boys basketball coach, Johnny Chippetto. Johnny, how's it going, my man? Very right, good, Pat. Thanks for coming on board once again. I think you've, you've had, this is like our 276th, 77th show. You've got to be on every year, I'd have to I say. I said four or fifth. Oh, time, more than so. that. I got. I got to think. You're. You're probably looking at, at least. You've been coached twelve years now, huh? I love the free gift certificates. <laughs> well, you <laughs> earned these. You earned these, and so we'll get to these a little bit later. Okay. But all right, man. You're. You're off to a seven and zero start. Um, what has surprised you most about this? Because you were sandbagging me a little bit, you know, in the preseason. So I slipped you in at what, like nine or ten in the, yeah, in the preseason. Ten, I think. Ten, and now you guys are sitting five or something like that. So, what has surprised you most? Well, we're, I'm surprised to be seven and zero. That's for sure. <laughs> We knew the football players were going to be out, and you know when you you're out, your point guard, uh, you know that's worrisome. Yeah. And um, but we had some kids really step up in our tournament where we played without um, Dedrick Shannon and Spencer Tears, uh, and then even our our backup point guard went on <laughs> went on a vacation. Um, Ill time. Yeah. So we played with our third string point guard and a sophomore point guard and uh still won the tournament yeah and so you know i was surprised at some of the play by some of those guys you know there was a kid that played a pivotal role in a big win um against perspectives a kid named greg slaughter and i'd be quite honest with you i never even thought he'd be on the team you wow. know and uh he's a senior um worked really hard in the off season and i think the delay of the football players gave him an extra chance yeah and so then there was a few stories like that where there's some guys that you know I didn't factor into the starting lineup or, or even making the team, um, you know, did a great job at practice. You, know, you have to have good practices to be prepared and to win. And uh, so, you know, th that record is definitely surpri uh, surprising. But um, you know that the the Hillcrest game, which was 
we had one week of practice with the, the football players back. You know, I thought we played pretty decent yeah. against them. Good Hillcross and, team. Yeah, to, yeah, and to have four practices with everybody, almost like a whole different uh, team, uh, that, that was a really big win. So to beat them and some of the other teams in our tournament, that was, uh, it's a, it, was, it was a surprise. Okay. Um, and with that said, obviously with other kids stepping up, I would have to say one of the biggest strengths of this team is its steps. Depth? Yeah, we, we do have some depth. I think the number one strength we have is Josh Meyer. Yeah, and we'll talk, that's a huge strength. Yeah, yeah, we'll I mean, talk about him. But, you know, I think it starts with him. I think that, you know, when we, we've learned that the last two years we were knocked out by Whitney Young with Okafor and Curie with uh, Cliff Alexander, actually three years straight, with twice by him, that when you play those guys and you have a post player that's that dominant, it's like you're playing against six guys. Yeah. And uh, I, I noticed that, you know, a lot of attention is paid to him, and he's been pretty dominant at times, and he's opened up things for some other guys. So. Yeah, he's uh, he's a special player, and Josh is a kid that averaged 18 points, 11 boards last year. I think this year he's off to 21, 22 points a game and 11 boards again. Mm -hmm. um, what, what part of his game do you think he's improved most from last year to this year, and what makes him such a dominant force? He, he plays so hard yeah. at, at his position. You know, he's a big kid. You know, a lot of times over the years you've watched bigger players not play as hard, right. maybe. Eddie Curry. <laughs> <laughs> Without and, mentioning names. <laughs> right. And um, so he's, I hate using this word, but he's tireless. I mean, he yeah. continues to go and go and go. and Never-ending motor. Yeah, for sure. And, um, and that's what the college coaches said about him. Um, so he's, but he's stronger. You know, he finishes so well. Uh, yeah. And so, uh, you know, you know, it's 22 points. It should be 22 points. It's yeah. not like uh, he had 10 and should have had 18. It's 22, and he's finishing. He's 8 of 10 or, you know, 7 of 9 for the night. So that's, that's always it's important. Yep. And one of the things you had mentioned about him, and it's something you have never seen in your career, is last year against Revis, he cracked the rim on a dunk. It was like his third dunk of the game, and the official had to come up and say, hey, no, no more of that. You know, <laughs> we don't have a backup rim uh, in case this thing comes down. And then against Hillcrest this year, he was dunking with such force, his hands were bleeding, and they had to stop the game. Yeah, that was interesting. I've never seen that. The rim, I saw one other guy break a rim when I was in college, but um, we were at Revis last year, and I was waiting for them to stop the game with three minutes, but <laughs> Revis wasn't accommodating. No, not at all. Huh? So he's going to go to Chicago State, and I think it's a great choice for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a program. I mean, they gave DePaul a run for their money the other night, right. and you know they're on the upswing. Tracy Dilley's doing a decent job over there. He's trying to get a lot of kids from the area. I know they're going hard at kids from the area, and you know, it's the WAC conference is a, is a nice conference. Right. I, you know, what's, Tracy's a great guy, and yeah. his staff is great, too, and they um, they, they're smart. They came in, they saw him, they said, you know what, we want you to come to um, Chicago State, and they offered him. And some other te schools were kind of waiting around and, uh, you know, didn't offer. And, and, and Josh said, hey, you know what, they want me, and I'll sign. Yeah. And so I, I think he's going to he's going to be a nice addition for them. Yeah, I mean, he's got to refine maybe his, his jumper a little bit, mm -hmm. but I mean, you can't take that kid away from the basket because that's, that's where he's a force, man. I mean, he's, he goes up for the ball like... Uh, well, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> that's for sure. All right, folks, we're going to go to a Lisa Thomas Salon timeout. Another stocking stuffer, folks. Go to Lisa Thomas Salon, a little gift card. Make the significant other happy for the holidays. All right, we return more with Coach John Chappelle from Richards High School. Stay tuned. doesn't want to be in style with the latest trends. What team doesn't want the hottest cuts at an affordable price? It's time to get noticed with the Lisa Thomas Salon Teen Club, where girls get a cut in style for just $27, and guys get a cut in style for just $17. Get the right look for the right price at the Lisa Thomas Salon Teen Club. Your style, perfect style. Only at Lisa Thomas Salon. If you're looking for delicious barbecue in the Southland, no one does it better than Bonapit Grill and Smokehouse in Palos Heights. Stop in and try our mouth-watering ribs, tender piled-high pulled pork sandwich with homemade chips, or a perfecta combo in our year-round indoor-outdoor patio. Having a special get-together, Bonapit offers a party room for up to 100 people. 
Want to watch the big game? Fans can do so on one of our many flat screen TVs and enjoy $10 domestic bucket specials every Sunday. Bonapit Grill and Smokehouse in Palos Heights. No one does barbecue better. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. If you're just joining us, our guest this week, Richards Boys basketball coach Johnny Chiappetto. 7-0 dogs. Uh, you're at, uh, remember, we're, this will be aired Wednesday, so you're, you're at TF North on Friday. Right. Um, and got to give a shout-out to your boys, Charlie and Louie. Charlie could be following the footsteps of Dean Martin, possibly, huh? <laughs> he's, he's got some pipes, my guy. Well, I guess. He's got some pipes. <laughs> right, he's at chorus rehearsal tonight That's for the, Oakland Hometown Middle School. So. All right, I miss you two guys, man. You guys are usually here with Pops. Yeah. I would have hooked you up, but, you know, next time. I'm sure Santa's going to be good to the boys, though, right? For sure, for good, sure. Two good kids. All right. All right, Johnny, let's, uh, let's talk about uh, getting these kids back. You talked a little bit about getting Shannon and Tears back and what they, what they mean to this team. I mean, Dedrick's a three-year varsity guy, man. Mm -hmm. He's never played anywhere but uh, varsity basketball since he's walked into the school. Right. And that's something his father, a proud Eisenhower grad, can't, uh, can't say because he wasn't no varsity <laughs> guy as a freshman. <laughs> <laughs> Got to throw a dig yeah. at, at D, a great man, <laughs> former Moraine yeah, Valley I, coach, too. So I'm innocent <laughs> on that one. So, Dedrick and, and Tears, what do they bring to the table here, man? Well, Shannon, you know, for, he's our primary ball handler, defender on the ball. He's really smart yeah, as a player, as a good student as well. So, like, defensively, he does some things out there. He allows us to maybe, you know, in the past, we're, we're a man, full court man to man team. Uh, mixing a zone here. Now we're kind of doing some different things. You know, we're uh, doing a few different kinds of zones, have some junk defenses. When we go to our junk defense, he's really good in them. Yeah. He's the best I've ever had at it. Wow. Um, so that, this year he's he's scoring now, too. Yeah, he had like 25 and 5, right? He, had, tw day? he had 20 against uh, Hillcrest, 16 against, um, uh, 16 against Bremen. Um, and then against um, TF South, he also had like 16 against them. So right, like he, five boards. Yeah, five he, he's real, and he's doing a little bit of everything. Yep. So, you know, when when a team gets after us a little bit defensively, and we can't maybe get into what we want to run, he just takes it by himself, and, and he either goes to the basket or jo gets it to Josh or gives it to someone else. So, yep. he's really a leader that way. And Tears is, uh, you know, he's a six-two guard, and he's long and. Um, his legs aren't back yet, but he's got now that football confidence. He had a great season. Oh, he did, man. Receiver had a great, great, great year. Great year, and um, as, as well as Shannon. So they have this kind of uh, confidence that comes along with being winners, and um, it, it gives us, you know, it gives us a dimension that you know, maybe we haven't had it in the past. We had a search for confidence sometimes, but you know, we're not lacking confidence at yeah, all. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's for sure. For, that's for sure. So what do you think this team is capable of? They're clicking on all cylinders, man. I mean, you guys have won, uh, what, what is it, eight consecutive conference eight, championships, eight con so you're yes. going for nine. We're going for nine. That's obviously number one. Um, number two, you know, they don't know about this yet, but, no. and I don't like to talk about it. Uh, you know, 20 wins. I think I, I learned from Jack Fitzgerald when I was first started coaching that, you know, that's a great season when you 20 can wins. get 20 wins. Um, it's not like baseball, though, where they get like 35 right. wins. Right, yeah. We, we get, get like less. 26 or 27. <laughs> right. But to get 20 wins, so that's obviously something that's out there. Um, you know, your career mark, 210 and 102 in your 12th season, you're, you're, you're locking in that 20 win thing very nicely, by the you way. Know, you know what be, I'm saying? Being a Cub fan and being 100 games <laughs> over 500 is, is shocking to me. I, I, to hear that, I, I didn't know it offhand. Yeah, that's it's impressive, pretty, man. It is pretty, it's pretty neat. <laughs> um, but, you know, when we get in the IHSA playoffs, I mean, everybody dreams about a state championship, but when you have to go through the route that we're going to have to go through, uh, we really just would love to win a regional, yeah. um, but we're going to have to upset somebody because it's loaded again. Uh, so just keep getting better till then. You never know what will happen. Oh, uh, yeah, you don't. But when you've got Whitney Young, Simeon, St. Rita, Brother Rice, and all uh, Curry. Curry's in this thing, all in one sectional, man. It is absolutely insane. And, well, you know, I'm going to save that for high tide. I was going to say that the Maris situation hosted the sectional, but I'll get into that high tide. It's, man, i got to give the IHSA a call and find out what is, what is going on, man. I, you, you make a couple mistakes, and then you compound it with giving Maris to host the sectional. You can fit... 600 people in there. I mean, come on, man. Why don't you just have it at a junior high, for Christ's sake? I mean, they've got the parking. I'll give them that. But 
Wow. All right, so D. Wade, proud Richards grad. Is, has he been in contact? Is there an SOS? Is he shooting up a you know a flare? Let you guys well, do you need anything, man? What what D. Wade? He's Corp? now he's now with Lee Ning, his new shoe provider. And Stye is all over. Stye is all over. Uh, Darnell McDaniel, who's one of Dwayne's brothers. Um, I, I saw Dwayne at a wedding at, uh, in August, but we didn't talk about shoes, so still waiting. Did, did you talk about like sweats or pregame stuff? Did you anything, no. man? I didn't. No, I didn't no. want to bother him with it. <laughs> you know, we it would be nice. We could use it for sure. The kids would love it. Yeah. You know, but. Uh, you know the stuff's not here in America yet, for, and it's not for sale, I don't think. But um, so it's a timing thing right now. We've got. I'm get hoping it. it's yeah. timing. I worked his camp this summer. I was the head coach of his camp. I did whatever he told me, and uh, <laughs> we, and, and nothing happened yet. So we're waiting. UPS hasn't like called you to the front. Uh, there's a package nope. up here for you, Mr. Chapato. No, uh, no, nothing. Not. Nothing from. Nothing other than stuff we bought. So. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a shame. Now, you've had a couple kids step up. You got this freshman who's had a done a nice oh, job man. for you, right, man? Yes. He's, he's what's his kid's name? His name's Jalen Catledge. Okay. Cool name too. He he's got the best set of hands of any player I've ever coached. I, wow. I've heard player coaches say, "Wow, that guy's have great hands," and I always, you know, I watch kids. Ball hits his hand, it's it's over. It's his, um, and he's made big plays at big times in the games he's been at. Even Friday night, we put him in the fourth quarter. Um, deflection right away, big layup in the fourth quarter. So uh, he, he's been really a pleasure. You know? Nice player. Nice man. kid, too. I have him in class. He's no ego at, at all. At all. It's unbelievable. Because I've heard some good things about him. So Great that's, kid. Uh, that's, good to, that's good to hear as a freshman. So, All right, well, Johnny, I appreciate you coming on board again, man. And you know what? i got to hand off a couple things for you, all right? You know, we have this Bona Pit Coach of the Week. I think you've won it. Yes, I've won it before. You won it, you won it last year. Well, you're going to win it this week, okay? So all we're going right. to hook you up. Okay, Bone thank Pick you. Bone Pit Grill Smokehouse, 122nd in Harlem. Chow down, all, all right? right? Maybe bring Louie. Maybe, you I'll know, bring everybody. maybe a little karaoke or something. You know, <laughs> you know let Charlie start singing you, you a little know, bit. My wife's a vegetarian, but they, they hook they, you up. They, we found something for there, her the last something, time. okay. Yeah. And then uh, Labriola Bakery Cafe, I've the been Golden there. Baguette. Oh. Awesome. Uh, that's awesome. Very good. So we're gonna hook Josh Meyer. He's All our right. player of the week. Maybe All he'll right? take me. Maybe he'll take you. <laughs> you tell I him doubt me. it. <laughs> well, bring mom or dad or somebody, the grandparents, something. Josh right, will hook yes. somebody up. Okay, so hand team. that off to him. Okay, okay? I will. All right, and have All a right. have a merry right, Christmas, too, my man. Pat. Okay, and Thanks. continued success. Right. Just don't t just take it easy in Eisenhower when you get the cards. Okay, yeah, take it easy. Long way away. Take the pedal. Put off the pedal a little bit. Okay. All right, folks. We are gonna go to an athletics timeout. And we're going to be taping at Athletics. First show in a new year, we will be taping at Athletics with Tommy Mulvey. All right, and we come back, results, players of the week, coach of the week, all kinds of good stuff. Stay tuned. Right. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to Athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza we decided to let the food speak for itself. Hello, boys. I'm a drop-dead gorgeous pepperoni sausage whole the vegetables deep dish pizza. Mmm, just look at my cheese. Your place or mine. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. Since 1970, Standard Bank & Trust has been a landmark at the corner of 95th and Western. Now there's a new, state-of-the-art Standard Bank at the same convenient location and better equipped to serve your needs. So stop by and meet our friendly, professional staff. They provide personalized service and a wide range of products to help both businesses and individuals reach their financial goals. In the Evergreen Park area and in communities all over Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana, we're your neighborhood bank. Learn more at standardbanks.com. Member FDIC. 
Hi, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I'd like to thank Johnny Chiappetto from Richards High School for being our guest. Dogs are 7-0. Good luck the rest of the season to them. Um, also, I want to let you guys know, Beggar's Pizza, you need any catering situation for the holidays? Beggar'sPizza.com. Jump on board. They'll hook you up. Um, see a bone of pig girl. Smokehouse, man. They'll, they'll hook you up as well. So, all right, folks. Standard Bank textbook question of the week. Um, chance to win a $50 gift card. Right in time for the holidays. $50 gift card compliments the Standard Bank. All right. Which year did Richards Boys Basketball win a state championship? All right. Text A if you think it was 1994, B 2002, C 2008, or D 1984. All right. Text A, B, C, or D, 2-708-365-8501. Texter number 2, 2, will, with the correct response, wins a $50 gift card. Compliments of Standard Bank. All right, results segment sponsored by our good buddy Tom Mulvey at Athletics, Sports, and Rehabilitation. All right, you have a little injury, Tommy will get you back on your feet or wherever it may be. All right. Game miles at Friday. De La Salle 60, Mount Carmel 57 for De La Salle. Brandon Hutton 14 points and a nice jam. Gre uh, George Wilborn came off the bench to contribute 12 points, and Carl Harris had 12 points for De La Salle. For Mount Carmel, David Nichols had 19 points. Caleb Williams added 12 points off the bench for the caravan. Richard 65, T of South 56 for T of South. Brandon Johnson had 14 points, as did Donald Stone for the Rebels. For Richards, Josh Meyer, 23 points, 11 boards. Dedrick Shannon had 15 points, 5 boards, 5 assists for the Bulldogs. Oak Forest, 58. Shepard, 34. For Shepard, Jacob Littleton, 10 points. Kyle Longfield had 14 rebounds. Not points, 14 rebounds. For Oak Forest, Jason Rowland, 15 points. Tom Shute, 14 points for the Bengals, who are 5 and 2. HF, 49. Lockport, 42. For Lockport, Grover Anders... <laughs> Grover Anderson with 14 points for HF. Dorian McCraney, 18 points, 4 boards, 4 steals. Jalen Thompson at 13 points. And Ty Odiasi with 10 for the Vikings. Rich South, 45. Rich Central, 30. For Rich Central, Glenn Abram, 8 points. For Rich South, Miles McCoy, 15 points. Denzel Kimbrough, 10 points. And Jeremy Ruffin, 7 points, 10 rebounds. For the Stars, who are also, uh, who are 6 and 2, I should say. The Labriola Bakery Cafe, Golden Baguette Player of the Week. We mentioned already Richards forward Josh Meyer, 23 points, 11 rebounds during a dog's win over TF South. Hooked up Josh with a $25 gift card. Compliments of Labriola Bakery Cafe in Oak Brook. Folks, shopping out in Yorktown, Oak Brook area, pop in to Labriola Bakery Cafe. Very festive, outstanding food, great value. It is top notch. The Lisa Thomas Salon Teen Club Player of the Week. Oak Forest girls basketball player Maddie Baxa scored 18 points to lead the Bengals to a 45-31 win over Shepard. We're going to hook up Maddie with a nice little goodie bag, compliments of Lisa Thomas Salon, little product, little gift card, t-shirt, all kinds of goodies from Lisa Thomas Salon. Bona Pit Grill and Smokehouse Coach of the Week. We already handed that off to Richards, Johnny Cipetto, our guest tonight. Nice $25 gift card, compliments of Bona Pit Grill and Smokehouse in Palos Heights. And you talk about a nice stocking stuffer, go get yourself a little gift card from Bona Pit. All right, folks, we are going to go to a Labriola Bakery Cafe timeout. When we return, a little high, a little tight, stay tuned. Looking for a unique dining experience with incredible food? Then check out Labriola Bakery Cafe. Opened by Rich Labriola, Chicago's premier artisan baker, you know they'll have great bread, but you won't believe the rest of their menu. Wood-fired Neapolitan pizzas, fresh pasta, and their world-famous Richie Burger. There's also homemade gelato, and of course, their famous bread. Labriola Bakery Cafe and Neapolitan Pizzeria. Conveniently located in the Oak Brook Promenade. What team doesn't want to be in style with the latest trends? What team doesn't want the hottest cuts at an affordable price? It's time to get noticed with the Lisa Thomas Salon Teen Club, where girls get a cut in style for just $27, and guys get a cut in style for just $17. Get the right look for the right price at the Lisa Thomas Salon Teen Club. 
Your style, perfect style. Only at Lisa Thomas Salon. If you're in the mood for some of the finest barbecue in the Southland, then Bonapit Grill and Smokehouse in Pale and Slice is a place for you and your family. Whether it's ribs, chicken, brisket, pulled pork, or any other barbecue favorites, Bonapit serves up a flavor explosion in a championship form. We also offer steaks, seafood, sandwiches, a mouth-watering nachos platter, and salads in a casual atmosphere, with the option of either dining inside or on our heated patio. Watch the big game in our full-service bar, or call ahead for pickup. Bona Pit in Palos Heights. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. All right, folks, before we get to high and tight, kids, specifically teenagers, boys and girls, Christmas, right around the corner here, all right? All mom and dad are asking for, they don't want gifts necessarily. Throw them a card, say some nice things, how you appreciate everything they've done for you. You know, and I love you in there. That's, that's all they're looking for, man. A little acknowledgement that, you know, you, you appreciate everything they're doing for you. And we also need to mention, no show in the next two weeks, because Christmas Day is a Wednesday, December 25th, and New Year's Day, January 1st is a Wednesday. Coach's Corner Show is going on hiatus for two weeks. Go to spread the cheer and take a few weeks off. We will return January 8th, all right? Wednesday, January 8th, 9 p.m., we will be back. All right, high and tight. What is up? We talked about a little bit here with Coach Geppetto. I just say, I mean, hey, I love Marist. Great people at Marist, all right? But there's no way Marist should be awarded the sectional, to host the sectional. I mean, I, they've expanded the gym, okay? Maybe, maybe a thousand people tops. But we're talking, you got schools like Simeon, potentially, Curie, potentially, Whitney Young, St. Rita, Richards. They're, I mean, they're going to draw some crowds. They have ample parking. Parking is not the issue, but the bleachers there are, ah, uh, I just don't get it, man. I, I just don't get it. Unless someone else, some other school, did, there was no other options. No one else put in to host. All right, you have to go to Maris. Even in, with that, I'd make some calls, you know, put some pressure on some people to host. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed the show. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy New Year. We will see you in a couple weeks. Take care.